Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Spartan Elite 43, and tonight I bring you another attempt at a Taskmaster Tuesday challenge where I compete against the other four guys, which are Brother Monroe, Every Day's Different, Stealth 17 Gaming, and History Guy Gaming, to decide who is the better designer of the week or who is the luckiest of the week, depending on the challenge. <laughs> This week we've got a doozy. We've got slow and steady. Build a ship type of your choice and year of your choice as long as it's later than 1910 and five ships of your type and of time period 15 years behind yours is the enemy fleet. The catch is, as the name suggests, the ship must be as slow as possible, but on top of this, you can use fa or you can't use fast torpedoes or improve gun reloads or improve your turret traverse. The rest is up to you. You get 10 points per ship kill, and your uh, structural, whatever's left of your structural, is what you get left. So... Let's get into this. As you can see, we are taking 1940 United States battleship versus 1925 Japanese battleships. Now, in theory, this would be an absolute rout. But I am pretty unlucky a lot of times. So we're about to find out. So we got to reduce the speed all the way. We'll take the range all the way down because there's no uh, requirements there. Take the turbines and everything all the way up because we have no cost... Um, or anything to worry about there. So, we're going to go with four boilers, auxiliaries, and shafts. The best armor. Good barbette thickness. Anti-torpedoes. Now, this is something I don't think we're going to need. So, we're going to leave it. Because it does add to your floatability. But I don't intend to get into a position where we're taking a lot of flooding damage. We'll see how that works out for me. Uh, we are going to go with a triple hull bottom because it does add to the resistance of the ship. So that's a good thing. And we're going to run reinforced bulkheads with the best anti-flooding, just in case we do get flooded. We get some penetrations in bad places. It is possible. Uh, we're going to go with all or nothing armor scheme. We're going to go super heavy shells. They said we can't speed up the reloads or anything. They didn't say that we couldn't bring uh, extra shells. Uh, we are going to be running high TNT. Do, do, do. What about TNT? Eh, we'll just keep it. High TNT is fine. Or is it tube powder that I want? Because we're not worried about the HE so much. Yeah, we're going to go with tube powder. That gives us the best penetration that we can get out of our armor piercing. Um, where were we? Hydraulic turrets, we can't change these at all. We can't change the reloading of the turrets at all. Um... We're not going to worry about torpedoes. We're not allowed to have uh, deck-mounted torpedoes. I think it was a thing that I remember. Let me just double-check. No, it doesn't say that you can't. It just says that you can't have fast torpedoes. So... That's, like, build a ship type, improve your turret traverse, and you can't use fast torpedoes. Now, as somebody who is trying to read into this, okay, I'm, I'm looking at it going... I could cheese the system. Technically, it says you're not allowed to use fast torpedoes. Now, fast torpedoes are a very specific thing, which is this. 
It doesn't say that we can't use oxygen torpedoes. It just said we can't use fast torpedoes. So I'm going to go with my oxygen torpedoes. We're going to have us a sniper. Okay? 24 inches. I, if I'm wrong, disqualify me. But I'm reading it as it's written. <laughs> I apologize. I'm not trying to, uh, to cheat or anything like that. But as it's written, um... Uh, we're, we're going to try to take advantage of the loophole. <laughs> it sounds terrible because it sounds like I'm trying to cheat, but I'm not trying to cheat. I'm just trying to follow the rules. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, but anyway, we're going to get into this. We're going to go with a modern battleship. It's going to look very familiar to those uh, that watch my channel because, I mean, let's be real. We enjoy the USS Iowa and we're going to be making basically a USS Iowa. Except, we're going to be trying to do this to the best of our ability. And it's going to be a Super Iowa with torpedoes. So, it should be fun. Now, I believe if we use the uh, the smallest funnel, it actually, with the forced induction, ends up, yep, 100%. So that saves us some weight. That saves us 200, well, 130 tons. Which is going to be important because weight is going to be our biggest detriment at the end of the day now uh the guns we are going to be running the centerline guns but we start at i believe it's eighteen thousand meters so 3.6 3.6 and 4 so the 18 inch guns would technically be the better let's do it let's just do it we're going all out 18 inch guns everywhere. We're going to mount that one way far to the rear. Uh, that should allow us to have very good firing angles on those, on that turret. Um, and just for, yeah, we'll just leave it as that. Three guns or three turrets of 18 inch guns should be plenty should be plenty we're gonna save all of this space for uh torpedoes so let's get to it we're gonna have quintuple torpedo tubes and a lot of them We're not worried about AA or anything like that because we don't have to worry about any of that. So uh, we're just going to leave that as is. Now we have a lot of armor that we can throw on this thing. And we're going to. Alright, so let me just double check, make sure I didn't, didn't get the wrong thing. So we have slow and steady, build a ship type of your choice um, as long as it's later than 1910. And fight five ships of your type and of a time period 15 years behind us. So that's all set. The catch is, as the name suggests, the ships must be as slow as possible. But on top of this, you can't use fast torpedoes or improve your gun reloads or improve your turret traverse mechanism. The rest is up to you. Now, let's just take a look at this. Now... The speed of the torpedoes is not improved by using oxygen torpedoes. It's just the torpedo range and the torpedo detection that is improved. Electric also does not improve the speed of the torpedoes. Only the fast torpedoes improves the torpedo speed. So I do, I do think that we are abiding by the rules here. And we're using the, the oxygen torpedoes for their superior range. Uh, they have ridiculous range. Uh, even though the electric torpedoes are much harder to detect. They don't reach as far. So we're going to stick with it. Okay, now that is how many torpedoes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven per side times five. That's, that's 70 torpedoes. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. Um... 
And so now we just armor it up. We armor it up. We are going to uh, increase the armor drastically. For belt armor, we're going to go 19 inches. For deck armor, we're going to take this up to 11 inches. For belt extended, take that up to 10 inches. Take the deck extended. To 10 inches. The conning tower, we're going to move that way up as well. That's going to be 17 inches. The turret, we are going to increase that to uh, 17 inches as well. Turret tops, we'll, we'll take that up a little bit, go to 6 inches. And then the secondaries, we're going to take to... Uh, we don't have secondaries, dummy. Do torpedo tubes count as secondaries? Probably not. Let me... Yeah, so us removing any... It's not going up or down. So we have no secondaries, so that's not a thing that we have to worry about. Alright, so how much ammo are we currently holding for this vessel? Four hundred and five per gun. Where is it? Total weapons. Eighteen inch guns. Doesn't tell me how much ammo it's holding. Do do do. I don't see it. I kind of want to throw some more armor on this thing. I mean, we've got plenty of room. So, uh, let's take the belt armor, or belt extended up to 12. And take the, uh, deck armor up to 13. With the deck extended, matching it at 13. 13 inches of deck armor is insane. Especially for a late war ship. Like, this would be a ridiculous amount of armor. And considering we're going with the all-or-nothing all or scheme, you can imagine how thick the armor would be around, like, the Citadel area. Um, around the magazines and stuff. But, yeah, that's that's insanity. So the belt's plenty. Let's take the belt extended up. Sixteen inches. I feel like we're going to have a pretty significant advantage on the enemy team. <laughs> so, uh, this, this should be fun. Let's take the deck armor up even more. Trying to get as much armor on this thing as possible. And then the belt. 20 inches of belt armor. And max it out with belt extended. There it is. All right. I think that that is where we're going to uh, go ahead and s just call it. Now, the reason I'm not too worried about getting shot in this, first of all, we have a ridiculous amount of armor. Um, we are going to be potentially having some issues with... Okay, we have the speed or minimum. We haven't changed anything for the turrets or reloading. And the uh, torpedoes, we are not running fast torpedoes, so we should be fine. And we have radar acoustics just in case they do come, because sometimes torpedo or boats or battleships do come with torpedoes occasionally, as we're showcasing. <laughs> Rather gr gratuitously. All right. Now we've already launched a whole mess of torpedoes. And we're 
going to be firing AP out of this thing. We're going to turn in to get a much steeper angle. Yeah, you can hear their shells are just... That was a 17-inch shell, and it was only a partial penetration for 3.8 damage. We are going to be just fine, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and slow down to our cruise speed so we get our bonus going for accuracy. Yeah, we are going to dismantle these guys. hits on these guys 18 inch guns don't mess around man and then of course we have the torpedoes on the way as well so uh anybody's guess as to how that's gonna go for them now are we firing the rear gun no we're only firing the front which is fine I don't want to over angle and get caught. Man, the bad news is we're not hitting them. They have detected enemy torpedoes. And they are on course to intercept them. Which is great. That one in particular looks nasty. It's got bad intentions in. Ow! Oh! Yeah, that's that's a significant, significant amount of damage. The torpedo hit like a sh absolute sledgehammer. And then he got hit with 18-inch guns on top of that. Now the one downside is, we are going to be taking more damage this way. So that's not for, that's not particularly for a But I know that we're going to be able to sink all of these ships. Especially the fact that we have torpedoes still. We have over 200 torpedoes on board this thing. thing is we're actually missing quite a bit they do have torpedoes well, that's not preferable they do have torpedoes all right we're gonna have to turn alter course big hit there caused flooding The fact that all of these guys have torpedoes is not a good, not a good day for me. And I can't go broadside because they will absolutely punish me with those 17-inch guns. We have a 30% chance of hitting, and we are missing like every salvo. Come on. Come on, Ohio. We just take a torpedo? Yes, we did. We just took a torpedo. Oh, we don't want to be doing that. All right, let's... Let's start turning away. I think we're, we're getting ourselves into trouble. 
We got torpedoes on the horizon as well. There's a good hit. Now the only problem is we made this ship as large as possible, so our turning circle is horrendous. Maxing out our turning right now. We need to get this ship turned as quickly as possible. We, we did avoid some torpedoes. We got a lot of torpedoes heading in their direction, though. That huge wall of skill is going to make itself known, and down goes their battleship. That guy just got lit up. Absolutely destroyed. Ohio strikes first. Let's get back to turning. I think we avoided the torpedoes for the moment. Now we're losing a lot of structural because of those torpedoes that we took. But the good news is their 17 inch guns have done basically nothing to us. But it would be nice if this ship would get itself turned back into a uh, bow in scenario. Try to force it to turn all the way. We know there are more torpedoes heading in our direction. We've got a 47% chance to hit that. Oh, torpedoes! More torpedoes! Those torpedoes may have actually saved that battleship's life on that salvo. Let's try to find their torpedoes, see how we're doing. We probably should have had anti-torpedo, or er, yeah, torpedo protection on this ship. But it looks like we're gonna miss this one, at least. I don't see any other ones. They just launched some more torpedoes. All right, well in that case, keep turning the ship. Turn it all the way. Get the we'll get the torpedoes off the other side of the ship. Huge hit. It's amazing this guy is still afloat. Got the Fuso out here broadside on to the Ohio with their 18 inch guns. It's just an underwater torpedo, so it's only a single torpedo. And uh, they reach. Quite a ways, 12.8 12, 12 kilometers. Shots coming in. Ow! Huge hit. Goodbye, Fuso. Thanks for playing. I like the smoke, but at the same time, it's always in the worst possible spot for trying to get a screenshot. All right, we're gonna straighten up. Still got three ships out there. Let's try to get. Try to get this guy. This would be terrifying, wouldn't it? I don't know how these guys did this back in the day. Sling lead over it. High explosive and lead just coming out of everywhere. And you're on this ship in the middle of the ocean that if anything goes wrong, you are absolutely screwed. Damage to the secondary. Oh, okay. I was going 
going to say the secondary tower. We don't have a secondary. Better talk about the. Oh my god. Oh! It gets. Penetrations. Yeah, we got some more torpedo hits. I think we hit this guy, the uh, Shikaku. Come on, Ohio. Finish. Finish this Tayo off. Big torpedo hit. And down he goes. Ohio's just too strong for him, guys. Just too strong. All those torpedoes are out looking for a fight. about you guys but I'd be feeling real bad if I were these guys right about now. Though I think the Shinyo is going to escape the wall of skill that we've sent in its direction for the moment. It does appear to be turning back but it's got no engine power man. It's it's essentially dead in the water. How fast is it traveling? Oh! Huge! Huge hit! Ammo detonation. Casemate destroyed. Oh, that's a bad day. I thought that was an ammo detonation, but apparently not. That was just one of the casemates dying. Another big hit, 300 damage plus flooding. And all the torpedoes just landed. How many did we hit? We got two torpedo hits for uh, over 900 damage. And he's still afloat. So the Japanese weren't, weren't messing around with these ships. They actually uh, built themselves some ships that were capable of taking some hits. I'll give them that. The fact that they're still afloat after taking two 24-inch torpedoes and the shots that we've hit with, with the 18-inch, that's it. That's got to be it. Like, that is absolute devastation. There's no way he's going to be able to pull that back. He's going he's gonna to sink due to flooding. Come on, baby, just sink. No way they got the flooding under control. At the last possible moment, they managed to get the flooding under control, but their steering is gone. They're still taking on water. They're down to 2%, and there's more flooding. That's the end of Shinyo. And the turret goes flying just for some added spectacle. <laughs> and there goes the wall of skill off the other side. I was hoping that would be the case. These are loaded now that we're targeting this ship. They're in the perfect position to intercept. I feel like Shokaku is about to have a really bad day. <laughs> I think we'll just ride along for the rest of this because I don't think it's going to be much longer. I don't think we're going to win due to the fact that we did lose quite a bit of health. But we at least did what we set out to do, which is kill everybody on the enemy team. And we did it in absolute devastating style. Here they come. Wait for it. Pow! Oof! Oof! 1,300 damage, five penetrations. That is absolutely disgusting. And here comes the wall of skill, guys. He notices he's trying to turn to avoid, but it's just, it's darn near impossible to avoid that many torpedoes in a ship that's this large. And here they come to finish off the Shokaku. One, two, three, four, and down he goes. 9.15.40 left in, er, yeah, left in the match. So it only took us 45 minutes in game time to sink everybody.